and we are back for another episode oh my gosh oh my goodness this is this is an actual podcast with actual episodes y'all this is this is still going y'all haven't cut me off yet y'all haven't taken my phone (laughs) all right happy black history month week three of black history month and you know it's time to give some of our favorite black creators some love it's time to give these people their roses these are my friends these are people that i just follow and these are super duper talented amazing wonderful spectacular awesome black creators that you should support right now hi i'm janique and welcome back to the nola art pod so as i said i am talking today about my favorite black creators and how they inspire me and especially most importantly how you can support them so starting right off one of my absolute favorite people and dear friend um art for crybabies shout out to art for crybabies she is a georgia-based artist working in acrylic and digital and she's like me in the fact that we both were teachers in south korea we both liked k-pop well we both still like k-pop and anime and we're both like nerds (laughs) and um she is cracking out some really great work now you guys she's got her own line of um of clothing of um like really cool hoodies or crew necks and t-shirts that are k-pop inspired so art for crybabies we met in south korea and like i said we were both teachers there i met her in 2018 2017 or 2018 i can't remember i think i was in my last my first year of chinchun and she was in her last year ever of um korea and We connected over Sailor Moon. We both love Sailor Moon so much. And that has not changed. (laughs) Like recently she, I saw her for my birthday in Atlanta and she gave me, or she, um, yeah, she gave me like a Sailor Moon thing or I gave her some Sailor Moon stuff. I don't know, (laughs) but like we always give each other Sailor Moon items. And um, I just, I love that girl. She's so she's so fun. And I've tried so many times to get her to table with me at a convention and it just hasn't worked out yet. But eventually, eventually one day <laughs> our powers combined. <laughs> um, we're going to we're going to do that. But um, yeah, she's amazingly talented. Um, I have a piece of her artwork here in my apartment. And she painted um she painted a ramen bowl with like the all the ramen goodies inside and it looks so beautiful, y'all. It's so cool. Her style is very um it's very neat with acrylics and I just I could never get to that. Like first of all, I can't do acrylics. Like it's so hard for me because the paint dries so fast and for me watercolor is just so much more forgiving. <laughs> but um but she has a great eye for for detail for design and you should absolutely go check out her artwork and i have links to her shop in the description below and some links to her artwork as well also she's just a really great person in general she's like so much fun so cool and you should go support her art. The next person that I just truly adore is Jonquil Art. She is another good friend. Um, we went to college together, actually. Um, 
to the Savannah College of Art and Design in Atlanta. And I didn't know her until my last year there, <laughs> which is, it's funny. Like this, there seems to be a, a trend of, I didn't know these people until like the last second. But um, she also is from Louisiana and she's actually um, based in New Orleans or the New Orleans area. And she's been pr a prolific artist since since school like she's worked um in textiles she's had her own fabric made or her own design um patterns and stuff made she has painted in acrylics watercolor like she's done all sorts of stuff um just she she is just killing it right now and you can find her on um, at jonkoleart.com and on her TikTok. Her TikTok is so much fun to watch. And uh, also through Instagram. And I, I'll have all the links in the description to check out her stuff. And what I like about her artwork specifically is she really um, shows some love to the plus size ladies and men and she has a wide range of interests from anime to um to like fashion and um of course she also has incorporated like the new orleans culture into her artwork so i just like when when I feel like I'm not doing enough, I look at her. <laughs> I look to her because she's she's constantly just working and putting herself out there. And she's really someone that I look up to in the the art space. Another creator that is also a good friend um, from college again, <laughs> Scad, woo -woo, is. Artsy Bell Store. And that's artsy underscore bell, B E L L E underscore store on Instagram. And she is um, my good friend Jody. And um, she has an art um, and lifestyle brand. A lot of her work is like jewelry and fashion focused and um, for the home. And she is doing amazing things with her brand and her store. And you should definitely go support it. All of her stuff is very cute, very colorful, playful designs. And y'all, she's a mom, a mom of two boys. So she's like working hard. So definitely go and support her art and her creativity. And Jody, I just love the fact that um, you are out here doing the thing that you have always wanted to do, like just be creative. And um, I can't wait to see how you and your store grow. Um, and that's all for my friends. <laughs> now let's move on to some um, creators that I follow that I really, really adore. Um, so some of the creators that I follow and the work that I really love, and this is not restricted to just art. Um, sometimes it's just, it's, some of these folks are um, like, brand creators or um, digital creators. But some of my favorites are Mood Junkie on Instagram. I love her 90s inspired, um, like just eclectic uh, fashion and um, accessories. And it's very, very much like of the culture. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Morgan Bassant or Morg City on Instagram, Morg underscore city on Instagram. And they're also an illustrator like me, but they have a um, 
graphic design background. Also based out of Louisiana, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we're just creative down there, y'all. <laughs> I have followed her artwork for a couple of years now. And it's just, it's so cute and um, and lively. And I love the way that she renders children and hair specifically. I have a really tough time drawing black hair, like natural hair. So I always look to her to get like some of the, um, the details and features of like black hair. And it just it reminds me a lot of, um, of like the cute Saturday cartoons and like the proud family and all that kind of those, like that era of art. I love how she makes the, the eyes and features like kind of reminiscent of anime style but also she's got her own she puts her own twist to it so it's really great she's also very prolific and um keeps up to date with like the cool new trends and the um all the different um properties that come out so definitely one to watch so good just oh go and look at her instagram She's really great with character design. And we didn't forget about the boys. <laughs> Ergo Josh is um, a YouTuber, a um, instructor, I suppose, too, and um, an artist that I follow um, mainly for more of his like technical information on how to draw and um, build up a composition. And I've seen him, like, I've watched him for a while, and I've seen him just take off with, like, how he studies anatomy. And um, it's been a real cool thing to watch him go from, like, like um, creating figures in a more, like, stagnant style and then getting his artwork to the point where he's got lots more um, dynamic poses and interesting um, perspectives. And I, I really like what he's doing with his artwork. And I also appreciate how he's not just creating, but also teaching folks to like how to create. And another creator that I really, um, I really respect and admire for their queer art is LM Freebird on Instagram. They have some amazing, amazing artwork that is just so powerful and so colorful. And I love the fact that it's mainly portraiture but um but done in a in of course like their own style and with regards to representation of different genders and sexualities and um, just ways of existing and I, I love the colors I love the the diversity of skin tone in this um I'm actually looking at their Instagram right now. I this is the level of creativity I aspire to be. Uh, and yeah, just I just, there's not enough to say. Like there's too much to say and then there's also not enough to say at the same time. Go check them out. Their work is beautiful, it's amazing, it's powerful. And apparently they've worked for MTV. That's freaking cool. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. And they also obviously are some sort of anime nerd because Sailor Moon, I see some Sailor Moon influence in there as well. So yeah, these are all of my favorite black creators and the best way to support these and any black creator is to 
monetarily support them. <laughs> Go and buy Black art, y'all. Go and buy um, art created by Black people. Go and um, support them through like following them on Instagram or TikTok or however, wherever they are on the internet. Go and tell them how amazing that their artwork is. Uh, support Black creators. That's the that's the theme. That's the theme, not only for Black History Month, but the whole year into infinity. One other creator that I love, and this is in the comic realm, is Plastic Botru. I don't know how to properly pronounce that, but um, Plastic is a comic creator. You'll see a lot of their um, stuff on um, web webtoons. And one of their comics that I have really enjoyed has been um, 21st Century Nights. Also, also they have a cute little queer story with like um, with uh, two elves, I think. I don't, I don't. But I've been, I've been like keeping up on um their comics and their comic stories and I just I freaking love it I just love that we're out here creating comics (laughs) um and I like too that they shift between a more realistic and more um comic style um if you go through their portfolio of work you'll see what I'm talking about some things look a little bit more flat and um like cell shading um style and then some things are a lot more painterly and three-dimensional and it's it's a feast it's a feast for the eyes just how like really cool their artwork is um so yeah Go check them out. Another queer creator that I really love following is the Glamnysia. I first found out about her on TikTok through her um, cosplay videos. And she is so fun, so funny, and extremely talented with makeup. Like, I am so enamored with her style i wish i could do it myself but i don't have the time or patience um and she's really funny when she um talks about like her anime faves and also additional fact she is of the mxtx clan woohoo we've got another one yeah if you don't know mxtx by now i don't know what to tell you Go look up The Untamed, <laughs> go Google that, go find it on Netflix, go watch the, the entire 50 episodes of it, and then you can come back and talk to me. <laughs> then you can come back and listen to this podcast. <laughs> um, so yeah, I love following her. And she also is very outspoken about um, about uh, appropriation and cultural appropriation when it comes to like black hair and black um culture so i i really love the like it's weird to call her an advocate but like kind of yeah the advocacy work that she's doing on behalf of black people and black cosplayers out there in the world and then i just love her content because she's just so unique and creative and she's just really cool and i would love to like meet her and be friends (laughs) So if you've gotten this far, tell me the Black creators that you like and enjoy and support and like and support and subscribe (laughs) to this Black creator right here, right now. Go hit that like button. Go subscribe. Hit the notification bell and um, go support all these wonderful Black creators and others. And I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.